did a little chick chick. One of my onions look good too for that deer meat. Mm. Hey y'all, I want to show y'all uh, real quick also about a wild plant that grows down here. Uh, I'm not sure what parts of the United States it grows, but I know in the south it grows. It's called uh, a poke salad, or some people might call it poke weed. And uh, all it is, it's just a leafy type uh, plant. Uh, it has a purple stalk on it. I'm going to show you that right there. And uh, it has little berries uh that it produces the these are just now beginning to uh try to make and uh, it makes the purple berries and um the leaves you can eat it kind of reminds me of mustard greens it don't taste exactly like a mustard green but you can uh the way we do it we mix it sometimes with mustard greens or you can eat it by itself uh, but it's one thing you need to know uh this is a poison plant and uh as long as you prepare it right, you know, it's fine. I'm not really sure what side effects. If you didn't um, prepare it correctly, you probably have stomach ache, possibly diarrhea and that type thing. But uh, a lot of people scared to eat it. But uh, we've ate it for years. My mom and dad grow, you know, we, we was raised on it. Um, and the way we prepare it is we wash it real good to begin with, just like you do your greens, get dirt, anything off of it. Then we uh, boil it for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, then we take it out, dump the water off of it, and uh, then we wash it, rinse it in some cold water. Then we put it back in our pot and go back through that process again, boil it again for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that water's going to be real green, and it get, uh, it get less green every time you, you know. But we go through three cycles that way. We boil it down three times, and then we wash it. Then we season it, go ahead and finish cooking it uh, to whatever, you know, how you want it, how tender you want it. Um, you know, you could put uh, bacon, ham, or, you know, lard in it. Um, we put sugar in it. Uh, it's got a little, um, like a mustard grain, a little bitter taste. We put a little sugar in it, it makes it good. But uh, anyway, that's just uh, another wild plant that you can eat. And a lot of people uh, don't recommend eating it, but I can tell you, if you're from the south, uh, you probably ate it before, uh, because like I said, there's a, another means of food that you probably growed up eating. You know, your grandparents probably um, cooked it and ate it, but it is good. And you can also take this and you know do what I was talking about and uh, mix it with like scrambled eggs, make scrambled eggs with it, and it's real good uh, onion and scrambled eggs and chop some of this after you done you know cooked it obviously you know you do not want to eat this raw and some people after the berries uh, gets on it they tell you you can't eat it or whatever you know you don't need to eat it but we've ate it both ways but uh i just want to show y'all that uh plant right there and uh, i will say uh the important thing is is to make sure you prepare it correctly and if you do you know if you do it like you know i told you you know it, you, it'll be fine uh, don't be afraid to eat it. it's not going to hurt you but um well i'll tell you that i don't want anybody to get sick so don't listen to me <laughs> I, i'll be like i'll be like old camp ranch don't listen to me i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> all right y'all we'll see y'all later